Hey, I think my cones are ready. I did some preliminary testing, but I wanna do a dry matter test. Whether you heard of that or not, that's what we're gonna talk about today, folks. How to test the humidity in your hops cone correctly. How to do a dry matter test. Tip number 16 from Hops World, Max Raphael here. Let's do it. So we're going to do a dry matter test on our hops. Dry matter is actually the amount of moisture or water that's inside each hops cone. Your female hops plant grows these cones that dry out as the plant becomes more mature. And depending on the variety, each plant should be picked at a certain maturity of dry matter or humidity inside the cone. Now, if you look at our tip number eight that we posted last week, it tells you how to check your plants visually, by smelling, by touch. But this is a more scientific test that we do in the lab, or in this case in Hops World. And you can use a dehumidifier or a dryer. We use a microwave, so it's real quick, takes four or five minutes. And we test the actual exact amount of humidity inside the hops cone. And that humidity should typically be between, truly the humidity would be between 80 and 77%. The dry matter between 20 and 23%. That's what you're looking for. So what we do to start is we pick exactly 100 grams of cones. You can do it with less, but we do it with 100 grams. It gives a better average. And when we pick our cones, we pick one meter down from the top wire, or two to three feet. There'll be a better average of cones that are ripe. And you wanna pick at least some cones from every row in your hop yard. And if you have a big hop yard, you wanna probably make a zigzag pattern to get a good average. And you probably don't wanna take cones from the first row or the last row or the outside edges of your hops field because sometimes the sun hits them plants a little more than the average of all your plants. So let's pick our 100 grams of hops cones and take them inside Hops World and do our testing. Okay, so here we are back inside Hops World. And we have our cones here. And I'm going to explain the procedure that we're going to do. We're going to weigh out 100 grams of cones, like I said, out of this. And then we're going to, using this chart, we're going to slowly cook in the microwave these cones to dry them out. And eventually we'll get to the point where there is actually zero moisture inside the cone. And that's what we need to get to. And we're gonna show you how to do that. So I made this little chart. We start with 100 grams and we're here at zero minutes. The weight is 100 grams. I'm going to slowly cook this in increments in the microwave. First two minutes, then another one minute to get to three and then 15 seconds at a time. And from my experience, by the time we get to four and a half minutes, these should be totally dry. So let's do that. First, we're gonna turn on the scale. I know that my container weighs 150 grams exactly. That's actually why I got it, and I love it. I'd hate to lose it. And so, total, with the cones, we need 250 grams. And we're at 276. So we're gonna take out a handful of cones. So we're right at 250, 248, 
250 right there. So that means we actually have 100 grams of cones because the container weighs 150. We're gonna take this inside, put it in the microwave for two minutes, bring it back out and weigh it again. Okay, so here we have freshly cooked, straight out of the microwave for two minutes, our 100 grams of hops, and we're going to weigh them. We have this set at zero. And see where we're at. Sixty-eight grams. They definitely lost some weight, and that is moisture weight. So we're going to mark that here. And we're going to go in and cook them for one more minute. Okay, back again. A total of three minutes because we cooked them another minute in the microwave. And let's see what they weigh. Down to 50 grams, exactly in half. So mark that on there. And now we're going to start doing every 15 seconds. And I'll jump a little quicker ahead so I don't bore you, but we'll do until we get down here and they really start drying out. So let's do that. Okay, folks. As you can see, we have now put this thing in the microwave 10 times. <laughs> we probably could have jumped from three minutes to 3.30 and then started going 15 second intervals. But anyway, we got down to four minutes and 45 seconds here to where the last three measurements and weights were almost the same. It got to 25 grams, 24 grams, 24 grams. That means there's no more water that's gonna come out of these cones. All I'm gonna do now is cook them and fry them. By the way, you should smell the smell of my house with these cones that I've been cooking. So, the bottom line is 24. That is our dry matter, 24%. So you really don't have to use 100 grams of hops cones to do this test. If you only have one or two plants, you can do it with a lot less cones. I have two examples here. In the first example, we started with 50 grams of cones. We dried them down to zero humidity the same way. And the final weight was 12 grams. So you take the final weight divided by the original weight and you come up with 0.24, which equals 24%. And then this one down here at the bottom was one I did last year. I looked it up, it was a Cascade, and I started with 87 grams of cones, was the original weight. The final weight was 19 grams. So you take your final weight divided by the original weight, comes to 0 0.22, which equals 22% dry matter. That's how we calculate the dry matter using less than 100 grams of cones. Like I said, you can use any amount you like, but if you use 100 grams, you'll get a nice, good average. So, we'll post this little chart that I found from University of Vermont from a few years ago that tells you the typical dry matter for each variety, but really between 20 and 23 or 24% maximum, and you're ready to go. I thought these cones could have been a little bit early still because there were some stems attached that I plucked off. So maybe wait one more day and pick tomorrow. 
Wow, when you cook these cones in a the microwave, they really smell. Now you can also dry these cones in a food dehydrator, which I have one, but it takes about 24 to 40 hours, uh, a lot longer. You can dry them conventionally with a dryer and air, uh, but it's gonna take a way lot longer and your minutes are gonna turn into hours till you get them dried down to zero. So the microwave seems the simplest way, but man, the smell and the smell in the house, it just must make, wants me to make some beer or at least drink a beer. <laughs> well, I hope you liked our tip, folks. Check out tip number eight. I'll put a link at the end here. Uh, how to check your cones first before you do a dry matter test to get an idea if they're ready. And if you liked, put a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel here, check out that other link. Thanks for being with me. Cheers to life.